Hi there. My name is Scott Marker. And I'm in Network in Action. And what these are is, um, I call them um, Treasure Valley NIA tips. And they're about bringing in local um, experts in their field to pass on bits of information that might be able to help um, business owners in the Treasure Valley here I go during some of these challenging times. And so um, uh, today, I have Rob Fox with me. So hey, Rob, why don't you introduce yourself? How's it going, guys? My name is Rob Fox. I'm the general manager at New Life Office here in Boise, Idaho. And uh, great to be with Scott, my man. Uh, we work together um, with a group of professionals and build relationships and uh, help each other make more money out there in the field. That's awesome. Hey, so um, I, I actually, before I met you, I had several people recommended me to you. So um, that was a nice thing. Like, I'd hear your name come up and came up again. So now I'm glad I've known you for quite a while. But uh, what, what is New Life Office and, you know, what, what, what makes it unique? Because I never yes. heard of you. Yeah, so New Life Office, we are a provider of commercial office furniture, and we help businesses furnish a beautiful uh, office space that works for their business so they, they can conduct and, and make the best use out of their space and have their furniture not be the issue, but uh, do what they do best, which is uh, – function their business. Perfect. So well, if you're going to, uh, what sums up New Life Office, but you're going to sum it up in a sentence or two, what would you say, you know, kind of what stands out? Yeah. So New Life Office, we're the, we're the best value in office furniture in, in the Midwest region. And I say that uh, in three, three different areas, which is, uh, you know, value, uh, price, and design and our, our our design is is we're unique and my dad has been uh, a pioneer of the company for 30 plus years and finding the most unique furniture uh, that's you know the best design at the best price point that the most uh, most of the the market will will gravitate towards they want a, a nice clean sharp looking office space they don't want to spend a ton of money but yet they don't want to sacrifice and, and have some drab dreary office space with dilapidated furniture or just fuddy duddy goofy looking furniture. Right. We'll be showing off your office space and it looks like, you know, the furniture is banged up and not, not the best. Yeah. Yeah. If you're in the technology space, which is, uh, I've, I've met a certain I'll, cut. More and more people here in the Valley. Turn it uh, too. That were anonymous. They had, you know, coffee stained cubicle panels and, oh. you know, here they're a technology, a software company, you know, the carpet was just, just looked like 1970s. The, the work surfaces were, were chipping and fraying and everybody was just kind of walking around kind of hunched over. And, uh, you know, that, that's not the vibe that you're trying to get up, give off, uh, you know, cutting edge technology. Right. So, and you fixed them up, right? And uh, we sure gave it our, our, our best, but uh, I think they were more comfortable in those, those drab conditions, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> wow. So, I haven't heard a lot of waves from them in the last few years, so I don't know. Hopefully, they're still in business. So when, when your customers come shop uh, there for their office furniture, and office fixtures too, is, you know, what, what, what's, what's something you think that surprises them the most? And the first time they come to your showroom and meet you and your team. Yeah. Well, I'd say, you know, first and foremost is uh, the owner of our company, who happens to be my father, uh, takes massive pride in, in decking out our, our showrooms. And so every two, two and a half to three years, we'll do a total refresh of our showroom with the latest updated furniture and the most unique and, you know, widely used uh, um, configuration so people can come in they can see it they can touch it they can feel it and people are wild when they come in our 6,000 square foot showroom and uh, really that makes my job so easy because I just basically they tell me what their needs are and I just guide them right to, to the to the setup that works for them and nine out of ten times they're like yep that's it that, that, that's what we need 6,000 foot showroom where, where are you at where are you based on it I mean, where, where uh, so we are we're real close to the Costco we're off of Victory Road uh, where cost, where uh, coal hits uh, Victory Road, okay. um, and we're right, right over there, about two minutes from the freeway. Perfect, perfect. That's that's not bad. Jump off the freeway and come and visit you, and check yeah. out. Your 
I, th- I think the, and kind of going back to your question, that's the, the second thing that I think people that kind of surprises them is, is our pricing. Uh, we had some designers, or excuse me, some architects come in and, and there was probably on our showroom and they looked at our pricing and they were used to working with some of the other, uh, you know, companies that have a more established, you know, national name and office furniture is really expensive if you've never bought it for the first time. And so they were looking at our pricing and saying, are, are you guys serious? Is, this, are the price, is the price really this good? This is unbelievable. Um, you know, then you compare someone who's, who's not experienced and has never bought furniture or seen it. They walk in and they're like, oh man, office furniture is expensive. So, um, you know, I, we're, we're a fantastic value and, and uh, that's the biggest challenge is getting the word out and getting, letting people know that, hey, this is what we do. I, I, until I knew you, I, I didn't know anything about you either. So that you're like, I, I've heard several people say, you know, you're, you're like a, a secret here in, in, the, in the Treasure Valley when it comes to office furniture. So that's awesome. So wait, I'm a hidden secret, Scott. Huh? And what was that? <laughs> I said I'm a hidden secret, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is, what's your what's your uh, the funnest project you've ever worked on there? Because I know you've worked oh, on that. We've worked on a lot of a lot of fun projects. I, I love to I love to take someone's concept or their design, and especially when it's their they're opening up a business. They've they've uh, you know invested their nest egg and they're going to operate their business. And just getting down them on, on a, across the table and, and hear their, their ideas and their concepts. And then um, using my expertise to help them furnish their space, you know, most cost effective or, you know, the, the most designer way, whatever it is that their, their needs are that they want to achieve. Um, that's, that's a lot of fun for me. Uh, the, the most fun I've ever had on a single project. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge golfer and uh, we had an opportunity uh, for a huge call center in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And uh, I don't know if you've heard of the floating green. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a, yeah, yeah that was I've seen that. It's just, yeah. one of my favorite golf courses I've ever played. And, and since I had to go there a couple of times, I said, I'm, I'm going to make sure I play that course. So on, on another note, though, it was, it was fun because uh, Dish Network had a, uh, a crazy timetable that they were trying to meet. And so it was, you know, the company that was installing this call center was based in Malaysia. And so it was, you know, late night calls, um, multicultural, uh, you know, building relationships with, with people in another country. And, and then finally the implementation where we had to get really creative. We were up against a time crunch. Um, I went down to kind of oversee the project and in the last couple of days, like I was literally under the desk helping the guys install, uh, to get it done for the customer. I mean, they, they had such a tight time crunch that there was literally sheetrock dust flying over the furniture because they had to meet this, this timetable. So they, they must've spent a pretty penny getting cleaners to come in and clean that stuff. But we, we hit their timeline. They were able to, to move in, got all their IT, their, their, uh, their electrical done and they hit the ground running and, and they were able to uh, open this huge call center up. That's awesome. You and the team helped them out. Today. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, real quick. One of the things was, I mean, you have a location here in Boise, and then you said the headquarters manufacturing plant is down in uh, Salt Lake? Yeah, so we have three offices uh, throughout the Midwest, from Vegas to Salt Lake to Boise. And, you know, we've done jobs as far south as, uh, you know, San Diego, as far north as Washington, Seattle, um, and, you know, to the, to, the, uh, to the east, Colorado. I've done quite a few jobs. Um, and then... Sorry, I, I, what was your question again? No, I'm no, sorry. That was just about your offices. You were saying that, that you had three offices. You had the Salt Lake one, and then, and then kind of you were talking about Salt Lake, um, Las Vegas, and Boise. But then you were talking about kind of how the area here in the Northwest. You've really covered a lot of the Northwest. Yeah, yeah, absolutely we do. Uh, we, I would say one out of every five jobs is outside of our designated area huh? that we cover. Oh, yeah. see, that's something new for me. So perfect. Yeah. Well, it was awesome talking to you today, Rob. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope some people will reach out to you, at least come by and see your showroom there in Boise. Um, it's not far off the interstate by Costco there. And hey, I really appreciate your time. What's the best way to get a hold of you, Rob? Uh, best way to go hold of me is my mobile, mobile number. It's uh, 801-707-6900. And I guess you'll leave it in the show notes as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Put it in the show notes. So hey, I appreciate your time, Rob. I really Thanks, appreciate it. Thanks, Scott. Thanks. Appreciate it.
Bye-bye.